All right, just about 718 on your Monday morning and time for us to check on another Western New Yorker at work for our Do Your Job series. This week, News 4's Lauren Hall is introducing us to a woman who is using her extensive experience in the culinary industry to transform the school lunch experience at Narden Academy. When it comes to chefs, Julie Levin's resume stands out. She graduated from the Culinary Institute of America and spent years in high-end restaurants and as a private chef in Los Angeles. But these days, she caters to different customers. Thanks, fans. Have a good day. Hi. Chef Julie runs the dining hall at Narden Academy, her alma mater. But this isn't a typical school cafeteria where food service is usually contracted out. A lot of processed foods, a lot of box foods, frozen foods, and not a lot of real cooking is happening, unfortunately. Real cooking is a major part of Narden's sustainability initiative. Chef Julie makes all of the student meals from scratch with local ingredients whenever she can. So we make the sauce for our pizza, we buy our cheese whole, we shred the cheese, we're assembling them ourselves, our chicken fingers also, for example. We get chicken, we are processing it and cutting it ourselves, marinating it in buttermilk, and then hand breading all of those pieces. One of the most popular meals Chef Julie prepares is her pasta bar. The sauce, the croutons, even the corn syrup free salad dressing are all homemade. It's very popular. I've had parents actually say, I can't get my child to eat salad, but um, they like your Caesar dressing. Can you send me the recipe? You won't find paper plates or plastic silverware in this dining hall. All of Chef Julie's meals are served on China. They're highly durable and we don't have a lot of breakage and it's just part of that meal as a ritual kind of idea where um, meals should be eaten with utensils and real plates, you know, not in the car or out of a paper sack. Cutting down on waste is another ritual Chef Julie hopes the children learn. She tries not to have any food left over and teaches them about reusing, recycling, and upcycling instead of throwing everything away. Hopefully when they leave here and go out into the world, that's what they will expect or want to continue to do and participate doing, and, um, and then they can be the change makers. Lauren Hall, News 4.